You might be like many moms who are feeling like, I don't know how much longer I can do this. When is it time to just give up hope on my adult child? And my answer is never. Listen, I am fully aware that each of you are having different situations going on in your family. Some of you are dealing with disrespect on a level of that you would have never even imagined talking to your parents that way. I get it. I get it. There's a lot of things going on. But at the same time, I want you to consider that giving up and walking away, you know, that's one option. Giving up is one thing. Moving forward is another. I want you to move forward, but that's not the same as giving up. And many of you think that it is. It's kind of like tough love. It doesn't mean it's forever. It's for a period of time. So I have four things I want to share with you today about this because I want you to decide what lane you're going to take. Where, How are you going to continue to have hope and pray for this lost son or daughter of yours even when they're treating you like garbage? I'm not saying stay in the relationship and be abused or disrespected. That's not what I'm saying. But let's dive in because I think this is super important and I know I keep I hear from so many of you and this is something that's over and over again. So I wanted to touch base on this. Number one is building resilience. Some of you may be thinking, I'm barely getting through my day to day. How does she expect me to have resilience, right? If you are one of these moms that is completely disrespected and you feel like you're sometimes losing your mind because you're trying to set boundaries, but you don't really know how to do it. You don't know how to stand firm, all of this. This is tearing you apart, right? These are the times where we move forward and sometimes we have to walk away from the situation. Doesn't mean giving up hope, but walking away from the situation is resilience. That is courage, that is strength. And that is where a supportive network comes in because you need emotional support to do this, to walk this journey, right? You also need validation that what you're doing is the right thing. But just let me add something that I want you to know that as a coach, I'm not always going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And you may not always like that. But that's what we do when you care for people and you speak the truth in love. Because listen, I have been through all of this and I've coached hundreds of moms to walk through this journey. And I am fully aware that your specific family situation is unique and it's important. And there's not another one that matches it. We're all different. There's similarities, but not the same. So give yourself some credit on the resilience piece because you can build resilience. It's literally taking one decision, one step at a time, one day at a time and moving forward. And that can change, right? So number two is hope for reconciliation. Because many of you have heard me say this, that we want to build this relationship back authentically, right? Uh, One of my clients um, had made that comment and it was like, that is beautifully said, beautifully said. But we don't want it to be that same relationship that fell apart. So that means we, ideally, we want two changed people coming back together and acknowledge that we had our own perspectives, we have our own perceptions, we can agree to disagree um, from the past or even who we are today, right? So some of you may be thinking, I have not heard from my son or daughter in years And I don't really have any hope that that's going to happen because I'm not seeing it. And that's where my faith comes in. And I have enough faith for all of us. For those of you that don't have it or you feel like days you don't, I do continue hope for reconciliation for you because God can change people's hearts. And when he does, that's how this happens. So don't give up hope. We do need to find alternative sources of fulfillment in your life. And you need to have connection with other people outside of your family, right? But coming together with others who are going through that same situation, it's not to feed anger or feed depression or anything like that. It's to breathe life into one another. And that's what my group coaching program does. So if that's for those of you that I've never talked to before and you're like, I am ready to invest my time, my energy, my resources into group coaching or one-on-one coaching, I want you to click the discovery call link below. Because it's time. If you've been on this road for even a few weeks, it's never too early to to get a new, fresh perspective. So number three is creating that supportive environment. Like I said earlier, creating safe spaces for yourself to be in outside of family. Um, Only you can do that for you. Nobody can tell you that you should engage with me, my support, you know, my group coaching program or anyone else's. But as I've mentioned before, and I'm I'm a really firm believer of this, a lot of you might be watching 
this and you're, you might be in my free Facebook group, Mama Just Breathe, or you maybe you're in someone else's Facebook group and that's great. I'm glad you're there. But I want you to know that that is not the place that is not going to solve your problems. I love their, I love that they're there. They, you encourage each other. It's a beautiful place, but it's not a 911 and it is not definitely not a place. It's not counseling. It's not coaching. It's a place that some, too many people feed off each other. And that's not what you need right now. I want to take, I want you to take some action in your own life to move forward. And you need that empathetic listening and practical support day in, day out. And that brings me to number four, which is moving towards healing. So what does that look like? It's self-reflection. It's personal growth. It's self-forgiveness. It's self-responsibility. I think you're getting the <laughs> getting this here. This is about you. It's figuring out who you are. It's self-care. It's making these strong connections. It's all of these things because these are these are the things that are my foundation of what I what I share with moms in group and on one on one. So if you can't tell, I'm super passionate about people getting help because it changed my life and I've seen it change so many moms lives. And because we can't wallow, there's a lot of things going on in this world, right? But we have to be able to move forward. But only you get to decide when you're going to put that foot in front of the other and actually reach out for help. So I just want to encourage you today. I hope that helped and God bless you. I'll see you next time.